you are learning Power BI, then this is the series for you. Start from video one to learn all the basic concepts of Power BI. This particular series had more than 150 plus videos to teach you each and every concepts around DEX, around Power Query, so that you can enhance your skills in Power BI. Subscribe to the channel. Hello and welcome to another video of beginner tutorial series and in today's video we are going to discuss one power query function that is table from partitions. Now table from partitions is basically to create a table where we already have certain table and this those table are going to become the partition and that entire script we have to give as a text. Once we give that script as a text and then the various partition would be combined and another table would be created. And then you have an optional argument of the type partition type. Okay, so optional is partition column type. So what column type partition is now to understand that there is an example which has been given, but uh, that example uh, will take a lot of time to understand. So I'll explain you from the inside. So basically just look at this portion, forget about everything else. This is the table dot partition, which is also happening. And then there is a looping of table dot partition, which we can do. Okay. So that's what is happening here. So table dot partition, what is happening here is you give a partition name and inside that partition name, like I'm giving the day partition, you give another list and that list will contain the, the that particular list will contain the list of the partition values and each partition value will need to have one table. That's what is happening here. So let's go ahead and try this out. So hash table is one way you can create a table. So we need to build up this code actually. So let's jump onto the Power BI and try to build up this code. So I go here uh, onto the Power BI and in Power BI under the home tab, transform data, transform data will take me to Power Query. A Power Query editor has opened. In Power Query editor, we are going to do this coding inside a blank query. So to get that home new source blank query and right click and rename as per need, now I'm going to get, give it as a name and name is table dot part partitioning we are creating. Now first thing which I'm going to do here is right click go to advanced editor. We also have the same option under the home tab. You can use there. So first create, let's say hash table. Okay. And how do you create hash table? Now I, I can give a list of column. First of all, ID comma name in the double quotes I'm giving. And then the second list I can give is the list of list, which is basically one comma, let's say ABC and list of list. The second list is basically two comma DEF. Okay. So this is one table. So the, I got a table now. Now, what I need, I need the script table from partition. Now from table from partition, I need to start, then I need to give a partition name first of all. So first of all, I give a partition name, which is basically year and inside the year, then I need to start an angular parenthesis inside this angular. Again, I need to start one more angular where I give the partition values and the list. So 2004 comma this thing and this complete table is going to be closed inside that angular list. So this become 2004 list. Now I repeat the same with comma 2005 and let me put it into another row. So I got 2004, I got 2005. This is ending. Now I come here and I add the partitions so year partition and now let me close this let's see this is the coding we have done let's see that it's working for us now you see that year 2004 there was a table now that table has been taken as here and then year another 2005 another table the same table we have the same values we can go ahead and change those so let's go ahead and change certain values in 2000 five let's call it name as let's say t h e d and a and d 
and let's call it ID 3 and let's call it ID 4. Okay. I got it. Same way I can add more partition to it. So same way I can go ahead and say, okay, I want one more partition. Now each partition is a table. Now, now un understand that thing that every partition we are talking here is a new table. We are giving the value of the partition and then inside that there is a table and that table we are having new records. And let's say this is five and six. The value is I, J, K and D, E, F. Now this is table. This is again a table. Now you can put further this into a partition. Then you will get another table. You can put, put further into partition, but table from partition, then another partition. So this kind of looping can be done. And that's what, where the example has been given. So let's take that example, copy, paste it and try it out. Really big example. So let's do this. I copy it. I go and create a new blank source again in the power query, home tab, blank query, right click advanced editor inside the advanced editor. Let's paste this. Now you can see such a big stuff. Now this is the year. Now how many year partition? There is only one partitioning 1994. You can see there's no, no second partitioning there. Okay. So inside this list, see first is year after year. There is a list inside that list. We need to have year list. So we only have one year list. Then we have month, but the month month will start a list inside that we need to have months list each month list January. And then there is a day list inside the day partition they have again the list started and in that list finally there is a table but where is the table for this one so table dot partition from partitions is also going to give a table so then where he is getting table from table from partitions so in this manner you got it and then when you commit this you get this kind of output okay so there was ultimately two records and that record each partition we keep on adding and that's how this came out so how do you like this video go ahead and try that out do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.